Good morning. God bless you guys. It's 908, May 2nd. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I want to share a couple dreams I had last night, you guys. Um, <clears throat> this is my second, third take on this video. Okay, I had to redo it a couple times. I got, I had to put it on pause and I had to, un I tried to unpause it, but I got, lost it. Anyhow, one dream. I'm going to share the first one right now. What I seen was a lot of people coming from a far distance. Like they were coming from a, a, uh, cities from a far distance away. And they were all, uh, like bright white looking. They were all white looking. But they looked very tired, very tired, worn out. And I think that's where it says in Daniel's uh, 12, 10, many will be tried and made white while the wicked continue to do wicked. And uh, they are, it's wearing us out. We're getting very tired of it. We've been trying to share with these people that don't wanna hear the truth and you know, it's yeah, you know, but we do what we do and they're gonna do what they do and we're gonna probably continue doing what we do but at the same time I seen where they were all coming from a distance coming to where we were at like we were coming together and I think this is where the the uh, the tears are all we're being separated you guys and I seen where we the ones that were all really white pure white we were coming together because it says the tares will be gathered and bundled first. And then the wheat will be taken, okay? But we're going to see things like we're seeing it now. And But I think we're getting that close to where we don't have much more time, you guys. And we've heard where there's things coming on the earth, but they're saying it could happen by the end of May. And uh, there's going to be like an asteroid field coming in. It should be like in July into August and uh, they're saying, that's why they've been spraying and trying to hide stuff you guys and uh, who knows what they're dumping on us but see this stuff ain't making the news it ain't gonna make the news because uh, they're servants of corruption you guys these are demonic spirits that are uh, hosting people bodies they're terrors and uh I think even trying to order any more dried food would be pretty hard, you guys, because uh, you got to remember, man, even they are preparing themselves to go underground to hide for what's coming on the earth. And they're getting supplies, and they've made orders that will precede ours, and they'll call it an emergency thing, like a military, and they'll even take their factories over. And they'll say, yeah, we'll pay you. They're printing out fresh money for them you know but they're taken to where for you to order something you could it could be very difficult I looked online last night and, uh, and it said out of stock on some things out of stock and uh, didn't even say anything about getting in or possibly anytime soon and then I went to another page trying to find something and it said this page is not found and, but anyhow I'm going to be looking more today I was just trying to find vegetables and stuff I mean we've got all these things put together now but we're gonna see if we can get certain vegetables uh, for other people and uh, that have to can't eat a lot of the certain things that we eat you know and it looks like it might be difficult to get it but we're gonna be looking at it today and probably tomorrow to see if we can't find it someplace some of it somewhere and get it if not I mean we got other stuff we'll just have to make do you know make do all right that's what I've seen you guys where people were coming out of the cities coming towards us and everybody around us they were all pure white pure white that's what I see all right and then I seen a dream where I was trying to witness with somebody and they would just throw their head up in the air and they're like ah like they couldn't stand listening to it, so I just stayed away from them, you know? I stayed away from them and didn't say anything else to them. Let them, you know, it is what it is, you know? They don't want to hear it, they don't want to receive it, you leave it alone. And I know I do say things 
a lot, I repeat them because people need to know. They need to be reminded of this. You guys, we wrestle not with flesh and blood. This is spiritual. And if there's things that really bother you a lot, you better check yourself to see what that is. Okay? Check yourself. Remember, we're, we're being tried and made white. Now, another dream that I was seeing, okay, was uh, I got these big tanks, 550 gallon tanks full of water. But these these were in water and I was trying to pull, pull one of them out onto the concrete pad and it was too heavy. And then I looked ahead of me and I seen people in the water and it was very foggy, real foggy. And then there was a bridge with an arch underneath of it. And you could see where the people were under the arch in the water. And then uh, um, I looked and because of the fog, I don't know if it was just two bright moons or if it was just two suns. One was smaller than the other, but they were really close. And, but like I said, it was like looking at them through the fog. And then to the left of that, I seen two other planets that were kind of high, and then one that was low beneath it. And all while I, I could see what looked like two suns or two moons, very bright. And it was all foggy. And then the people that were in the water were going, we're not afraid, we're not afraid. And I was, you know, I was like, wow, looking at these planets. You guys, I've had dreams about these planets now. I'm going to say since 2014. I've had dreams about planets. I'm going to say at least four or five times. Dreams. And with last night, maybe six times. I don't know. It's quite a few different times I've had it. And I know there's things coming on this earth, you guys. And it's getting ready to happen. Um... You guys, we're close. We're very close to all this stuff coming to you and end here. Let's be ready and uh, stay bold, you guys. And I want to tell you something. We're being separated. Don't resist it, okay? Don't find yourself uh, trying to holding on to what is obviously a terror, okay? People are going to be trying to hold on to their children. They're going to be at their wives or their husbands. Um, you guys, the Lord is clearly making it clear to you to see that we are separated. It says the tares will be gathered first. And those of us, we know who we are. That's why it said if they had been of us, they would have remained with us. But they went out into the world to manifest themselves together. That's what the world does. The world loves its own. Okay? And if you're not among them, and they seem to have... Uh, they don't like what, you're, what you got in you. They don't like it. I'm going to tell you something. It's only going to get worse and worse. And that's where it says, your wife or your husband or your children, they'll turn you in to have you put to death. It also says the parent will turn in the child to have them put to death. You know, it's not going to be any love. That's why it says, including those that love not their brothers. Okay? You're going to see, you guys, in the kingdom of heaven, we're all going to be brothers and sisters. But this hatred, I'm going to tell you something. If they are, if they are not acknowledging Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, then they are anti-Christ. And then we've got people around us that act like they are. But at the same time, they're telling you, it's okay if you sin. It's okay. You know, a lot of things that they're saying. But they're not telling you what it says in Revelation 12, 17. Um, Satan makes war with those who keep the commandments of God and the testimonies of Jesus Christ. That's why in the scriptures, when you read them, Jesus says, his, the, their commandments, they're not grievous. They're not grievous. They're just telling you to live right and stop sinning. They're telling you not to live like that, like whores. And Scripture clearly tells you Satan's the prince of this world. You know? And what is it? And Jesus said, My kingdom's not of this world. 
So, and he says, follow me. He says, if you don't pick up your cross and follow me, you're not worthy of me. And if you don't love me above your wife, mother, and children, or whatever, you're not worthy of me. I'm going to tell you, when this life is over, whatever, your husband, your wife, your children, your brother, your mother, your sister, your uncle, your aunt, whatever, when you're in either hell or heaven, you're not going to look at them the same way. We're all going to either be brothers and sisters in heaven, or are you just going to be tormented souls in hell? They're not going to be brothers and sisters in hell. They ain't going to care about one another. Nothing. It's going to be wicked. This is where you need to get real and know the truth because it's being shown to you. But if you're still trying to hold on, you may find in yourself holding on but banging on the door. Going, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. Let me, I want to come, I want to come. Well, you had plenty of time. You chose to hold on to this. And you knew clearly that they were not about Christ. If they're not about Jesus Christ, they're anti-Christ. There's people here that say they love Christ, but they hope it ain't the end. Well, that they say they hope it ain't the end. That means they love this. And this is where Satan is the prince of. Satan's the prince of this one. So, I mean, you got to just put one and one equals two, okay? But they don't see it that way, you know? You got to be listening, man, because they're, they're telling you, but you just ain't listening. And that's the Bible even says there's people that are willingly ignorant. Willingly. I wouldn't want to be in some of these people's shoes. That's all I can tell you. This is all getting ready to come to an end, you guys. This is where you got to be honest with yourself. Don't deceive your own selves. I'm ready to get out of this place. Those were the dreams that I had last night. I wanted to share that with you, so now you guys know. I seen where everybody was really, really white. And I was like, whoa, that's like white, man. It was like, you know, like we didn't have no blood in us or something. It was just pure white. And we didn't look like I look right now. You guys, our joy is not going to be till we leave here. And we see our Lord and we're out of these bodies. You know, I hate this life. I can't stand it. It's wicked. It's evil. And uh, I want out of here. you're hearing a lot of other people they don't want out of here they like it here you better know who's who be honest with yourself because you're going to know when it comes right you already know you just ain't being honest with yourself you know so this is where you're going to choose who you're going to be with we're being separated choose well God bless you guys in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ <laughs>